Coming in different shapes, sizes, colors, and in some cases, gender, the sculptures of the mute dog from the animation Wallace and Gromit went under the hammer on Friday. Manchester-born auctioneer Brian Hodgson says as a loyal fan, he's honored to participate in the event and bring the characters to a new audience. They certainly are. They're a long way from their home in, in Bristol. And we, we have 70 grommets here. And the idea is that we're, first of all, to entertain people of Hong Kong. And secondly, they're here for a charity auction to raise funds for children in Hong Kong and also in Bristol. The 70 fiberglass sculptures were designed by various artists, celebrities and companies. One sculpture even pays homage to martial arts star Bruce Lee. We've had uh, various artists and designers and celebrities from Hong Kong and many of these designs are very, very special and they either come from some corporates like Mini have designed one, there's another one in the design of um, Bruce Lee, for example, and there's a ballet one, actually one of the grommets actually has a ballet dress which uh, has changed his gender somewhat, but uh, he, he still looks happy. And there's one even a knitted grommet, so that's been done by a local uh, celebrity a couple and people are very uh, good at knitting and that's a slightly different grommet to what we're used to. The series has become an international hit with interest from buyers all over the world. Well, Wallace and Gromit, particularly Gromit, is, is a character which resonates with many people. He doesn't actually have to say anything. In fact, he doesn't. But his expressions and his character, he is the clever dog. And I think people like that. People like the simplicity of Gromit. And, and Wallace himself, uh, apart from loving cheese, is also a very lovable uh, character. So people like it because of its simplicity. They like it because it is funny. And they like it because it has a very, very simple message. Gromit Unleashed Hong Kong follows the huge success of last summer's Bristol exhibition, which raised $6.2 million for the Bristol Children's Hospital. Shen Li, CCTV.